Hello again. Uh, we are going to install now the uh, Sherwood Engineering Mix 4C. Um, this little board right here, cute little board with a little double sided tape and some leads on the back, and a resistor comes with it. Um, we'll have to remove this plate to make room, and we'll be installing this board and sticking it right on the 2.4. Uh, filter there. So um, one of the caveats with this radio is that uh, there is a different. Uh, this doesn't have the six EJ7. It has a six HS6 uh, because it's an older serial number uh, R4C. So a couple little changes to it's in all in the manual here. Uh, looks fairly easy to do. Um, you know, desolder some stuff and remove the tube. Uh, this makes it uh, supposed to uh, supposed to cure the frying egg kind of sound and cracklies that this thing seems to make, and this one's doing it. So this is why I'm doing this first. Um, I will be doing the product detector after this one, when, where I'm just gonna see how this does and then see what kind of difference the product detector makes after after we uh, we finish this so uh, we'll give it a shot okay I'm back um, this is another video on the Sherwood Engineering Mix 4C for the Drake R4C um, this was a little harder than I thought um, what and it didn't necessarily need to be this hard um, my complaint well part of it is because this is an older R4C this uh, the instructions are written for a 21,000 and up serial number and I have the one before this so none of the boards really match up so Anyway, there's the mix for um, ran 12 volts. That's this one here. There's plenty of room for all kinds of 12 volt devices with this power supply. <sighs> what was a lot of fun was trying to figure out where the low in and out went. Um, and since this is kind of written in uh, the instructions are kind of written like a story, not really like uh, a technical manual. So, you have to read in a lot, and none of what I had met, matched up with what he had. But what I figured out was um, that the, especially in the back here, uh, for the S meter, this is for the S meter resistor and uh, setup, and they used a 470 ohm resistor here, need to be removed. Um, so that was made it a little bit more interesting um, and uh, so I think I, I think I've got it figured out um, none of this I have the 6 HS6 none of none of this stuff matched up but uh, with the schematics uh, and kind of reading into things uh, I, f I did figure it out um, going to T6 uh, hopefully this thing will work I haven't tried it out yet We'll flip it over and see if this thing lives. All right, here we go. Uh, 
Okay. Well, it seems like uh, the uh, the Mix 4 really did its job. I don't hear any of those weird cracklies or loss of gain um, like I did before. Um, seems to be working okay. Um, next step is the product detector. So we'll pull her back apart and uh, swap that out and it'll be our final stretch. We're, we're getting closer.